welcome to Gen X Toy Box. We have a mail call, a what we got from our friend Jason, and what we picked up at Walmart. Um, so we did a lot of in-store shopping because Targets and Walmarts are coming out with some really great stuff, if you can find them, that is. Um, so I will kind of start with what our friend Jason found. Um, so he lives in another part of North Carolina, like Wake Forest area, so he kind of helps us um, with our local shopping. So if he sees something, we pick it up for him and vice versa, we pick stuff up for him as well. So very good looking out in his part because I am excited slash terrified about this because we have been collecting these Lego McLaren cars and I've been doing them on video, putting them together. It's been interesting. Um, nothing was as bad as that um, battle ram though. It, it wasn't as bad. So I'm hoping this won't be, how many pieces is this now that I'm 263 so this will probably take me about an hour and a half to two hours so yeah it's gonna be a little bit um, but we got one to work on on video and then we've got one to put away um, maybe for when my son when he gets older and then he also found us two of the minis we were missing um, so we needed a Stratos and we needed a ninja. So we have these, but we didn't have extras. So now we have ones that are sealed and they're getting put up in, um, we have like special boxes, like we get bins and they're the hefty bins with like the gray lid. And we do all of our storing of action figures in those. Um, they're really good at like sealing it tight and, and like it locks and it has like extra storage space on the bin top. So definitely been using those to put some of the action figures that are carded um, up. And then we have a whole spot of minis over here where they're open. So now we have a set of these to open and a set of these to put away. So thank you, Jason. Good looking out as always, I'm telling you. But I'm very much dreading doing this. This looks like it's gonna be scary. I'm not gonna lie, 200 and some pieces. The last one we did wasn't that bad. So I'm gonna have space over here. I've got so much stuff. So much stuff. All right, this one. So they're a Walmart only. It's like not really exclusive, but they're only being sold at Walmart. And I found a lot of them. Like when I was out like doing my shopping today, I've been finding more, so they're not too obscure, but I'm glad we found them nonetheless. Um, I was a 90s kid in school, so I never got to revel in the whole Trapper Keeper situation. Um, I never had one, but my husband definitely had to have one because he had these and he remembers these crazy, weird, makes no sense, like computer screensaver type designs. Like it's ridiculous. And the thing that he said that was actually funny to me, he's like, they made them just as crappy as they were in the eighties. Because if you see, you pull that up right there and it kind of like almost pulls up the Velcro. Um, but I mean... Hoorah for you kids and your cool school stuff. I mean, you got your trapper keepers, you got your pencils with the tops on them. Like you guys had school down pat, I'm not gonna lie. So you got one of these and then he got another one of these and they have some like different designs depending on what you're into. So yeah. Um, yeah, they were selling them online. He, like he was terrified that he wasn't gonna be able to find these because they were selling them online for a lot, unfortunately. But, like, the targets all around us have them. So, um, at least the one I went to today did. Um, so, they had a couple of them. But, these are cool. Never had them. I probably would have had them. I'm not going to lie. Um, but, yeah. But, I don't know if I said that those are Walmart. Um, if you are in a Walmart, go take a look. Because those are around if you want the nostalgia. I mean, I think it's cool because now they're coming back with Lisa Frank stuff. Um, I was in it a little bit. Like, oh, it was a little too girly for me back in the day. Um, but I think it's kind of cool that they're bringing that back out. So I, I kind of understand where you're going from. I saw some Lisa Frank folders. So that was kind of cool. All right. So that is, like, part one of what we bought. That was just, like, Wal that was a uh, Walmart one and then what we got from our friend and now we have a mail call. Um, I'm excited because I think there's something for me in here. I'm hoping there's something for me in here. Um, I'm, I'm kind of anticipating something so we will see. Um, so let's jump right in to the bubble envelope and see what is in here. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I always tell my husband, like, you can buy whatever you want on eBay as long as you buy me something, too. So, you know, that, that's kind of how it's been. He's been really good about it, too. <gasps> this is exactly what I was looking for. Look, I knew it. Out of all this stuff on my chair, I knew this is the one I was supposed to open. So, as you guys probably know, I am trying my hardest to get back my She-Ra collection. It's not easy. She-Ra is not really out there. And if it is, it's expensive. Um, so we've been scouring all over. You, we cannot find it in our travels. Um, a lot of the toy stores we've been to have not had any. You can find bows like everywhere. Complete bows with arrow, like everything. And his quiver and you name it, he has it. Um, but this one right here in Chaptra, um, I absolutely love her because, um, this is like the second one I have, but her gold is like beautiful. And she also has this as well. Um, I grew very fond of this character, um, with the She-Ra Princess of Power series, cartoon series on Netflix. I absolutely adored her. Um, she was super geeky and quirky and she just made me laugh. So now I have a whole new appreciation for this action figure and like her chrome is beautiful. Like I can't. Um, so what I've been doing with my figures is I've been um, washing them um, with like my like shea butter stuff like so my like shea moisture um, shampoo and then conditioner. Um, and then I've been like kind of leaving in a little bit of conditioner. I've been brushing it through and then I've been trying my best to style it as it was originally. She's like kind of one of the harder ones cause she's like a like two colored hair thing. And like there's a whole part situation. So I've been trying to do them as close to, um, their original hair design as possible. So like frost is really easy. Um, but this one's, it's going to be a little work, but I, I'm up for the challenge. So maybe we'll do a little, um, before picture and then maybe an after what it will look like after her hair gets brushed and everything. Sweet Bee's hair was so hard to do because you want to keep the curls, but you also want to brush it out. So it's not like really frizzy. It took me so long to do her hair. It was insane. Well, that's what I was anticipating, and I'm really glad that was the first thing I pulled out because it's, I'm going to go play with it downstairs, and I can't wait. I'm probably going to do her hair tomorrow night, though. I'm probably not going to do it tonight. Um, I have a movie that I want to finish this evening, or I want to finish, I, my husband and I have been, like, co-op playing Doom 64. Um, he's been playing it, but, like, I help him navigate, and I'm like, oh, no, try that door, and it, it always helps to have two eyes when you're playing video games. Especially with ones like that where there's like secrets and like hidden things and oh mine oh it's so cute what is this oh it's from Funko okay this is adorable by the way um it's a lot heavier than I thought it would be but that is really cute look see he listened he's getting me stuff too um so I just recently redid my my pet monster collection kind of like brought them out of the forefront like I brought them in um in my room a little bit more because I kind of wanted to see them I'm kind of obsessed with them so yay this is adorable this is in one of those like little mystery minis I think it was and um I really didn't feel like looking for him so I'm just glad that we just went ahead and bought it because those mystery minis they are not cheap either all right I'm gonna save that one for relatively last because that one Again, looks like it's from a whole nother country. We'll see um, the way he does his bidding. So thank you. I got the new chapter I want. I got the um, Surprise My Pit Monster. That's really nice. Oh, yeah. I forgot I bought that. Yeah. Okay. So this happened. Um, I was here when he found this, right? And he was like, oh, my goodness. I have this pencil case. I don't have this color pencil case. And then he realized it's still got the foam in it. Lord Jesus. We got 18 pencil sharpener. Maybe. There you go. Right? Okay. We got that. <laughs> Mr. T eraser. It's because. Oh my Lord. What is this? Why is it so puffy? We got a ruler 
Look, he's got this right to go with this Trapper Keeper. I'm done with him. Like, I can't. This is, this is so extra. And then, of course, and it's got Mr. T on it. 18 pencil. That is an 80s eraser. That is not, that's not going to erase anything. That's, this is toxic. Like, I'm touching this. I'm probably going to turn to mutant. Like, just saying. So, yeah. So, now he has the yellow one. He had another color one. I forget which one. It was, like, 1983. This Mr. T stuff has to stop. Why was so much... I mean, I guess this wasn't really Mr. T. It was 18, but we all know he was the face of 18. He's got his van on it and everything. This is a tiny little ruler, too. Okay. Well, I'm going to put this with his Trapper Keeper. I'm so done. Like, that is so much. Oh, I forgot the little thing to go with it. He's such an 80s kid, I swear. I can't... There's no help for him. But that was cute. Yeah, I was I was there over his shoulder. And he's like, what? I'm not buying anything. Yeah, he was. All right. No, this, I thought this was from another country. It's not. Because, you know, he, get, he gets the stuff from all over the place. I think I know what this is because I got something similar from this place. Yes. Okay. So these Lady Bird books. We have... Sheer and He-Man, which I'm going to claim as mine. I'm just going to put it downstairs. Unless I already have it, then he can have it. Um, but again, these are really beautiful. The Book of the Film. Cool, right? And we've got Castle Grayskull Under Attack. Right? And these were printed in England. So these, like, were not something that, you know, really made it over here. she and the Surprise Party, that one's mine. Cool, right? Oh, he's got a Transformers one. Okay, I'm not mad. And a trap for He-Man. So, ooh, look at those little creepy people in the back. I like it. Um, so, yeah, he, he, he's been finding those, and that's, like, his new thing. And I think these are probably more of them because, you know, the whole the books thing. Um, but, yeah, that's his new thing, like getting weird merchandise because, because that's always fun stuff, right? All right, let me see. These are like packed in there pretty good. We've got another Transformers, very cool. And Masters of the Universe, the Iron Master. This should have been made as an action figure, I'm not gonna lie. I would have bought that. I would have bought that all day. I like this. I mean, the art is just absolutely beautiful in it. Look. Beautiful, right? Cool. So they're probably going to make their way over to our little spinner rack of goodness. We need another spinner rack. We really do. Because it's really good for action figures, books, magazines, folders. It's, it's a lot. All right. So I've got two flat ones. No idea what's in either of them. So I'm just going to go with this one because this one's right on top. I'm very curious to see what's in these because normally flat envelopes mean artwork, but I don't think he's gotten any artwork done recently, so this kind of has me, hmm, okay, let's see here, I gotta be like super careful because I think there's something paperish in here. Like really trying to be as gentle as possible because I don't know what's in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, rub and play transfers. Cool. That's nice. Oh, I guess so you can put them on here and the little action scene. And I never did these before. I mean, I've never had anything like this. Y'all were bored. Like, you were just <laughs> rubbing some stuff on paper. Like, dang. Like, I, I would not, as a child, I'm, I'm going to be honest, as a child, I probably would have not found this entertaining. But, like, I mean, that's cool. I mean, it's, like, almost, almost like paper. No, not, it's not, I can't even say it's, like, paper doll. It's interesting. I like it. I like it. Everything. Everything they make. Now I'm a little concerned that something like that's in here, too. All right, let's see. This one's taped up um, scary good. Like, they use some scary brown tape in here. I 
at least I have the scissors. But I, again, have the little safety scissors. Like, what in the world? I don't even know where my good scissors are. They disappeared. Probably in an office somewhere in this house. Okay. It's going to take a little bit because we got brown tape. Okay. It's oh. a lot. So was he like bald with like a little toupee thing on top? Because I mean, that's what it looks like. I'm not going to lie to you. It kind of looks like he has a little, I mean, probably, I'm, you know, full color stickers, color and activity book. It was 99 cents made by Golden. Jeez, he needs a whole nother shrine for Mr. T downstairs. It has overgrown and overstayed its welcome. I'm not gonna lie. So that wraps up the Mr. T very, very 80s mail call. Um, geez, I'm gonna go see if I can hide those transfers. They're weird. Okay, but again, look at Walmart, try and get yourself a trapper keeper, and I'm gonna go play with my toys. All right, guys, see you next video. Hello there. I am so grateful that we have reached another milestone. I love doing these videos. It means that you guys are watching and subscribing. So thank you so much. It really means a lot to me. Um, so we have to set a new goal. And I think I'm going to go big at 1,000 subscribers. And we're pretty close. So please, everybody, continue to spread the word. Share on your social media pages. Get your friends and family together. Um, Anybody you may know that may like toys or anyone that just likes YouTube. Um, so spread the word. I would love to get a thousand subscribers and then we can do another giveaway. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Um, maybe some suggestions. What would you think? What would you like to see? What would you like to see as far as a giveaway? Um, do you want to do like a toy, a tour, a toy and a tour? Just curious. Um, but again, thank you guys so much for the support. And this has been a really great journey. So let's make it to 1000. We can do it. Thanks, guys. Bye.